So it's a kingdom principle. So if someone, I think we saw it in Zimbabwe, if someone has walked with you step by step and you try to betray him at the last minute, you are causing trouble for yourself and your leakers. Hallelujah. This is the advice that I'm giving to the leaders there in Kenya. I'm not a Kenyan myself. I'm of Zulu origin in terms of tribal affiliation. But in terms of my spiritual fundamental origin, I'm a Christian. I am completely tribeless in terms of my new life in Christ. Let me continue the message. This is the will of God. God wants to use a prominent son of that nation whose name is Bill and the initial of the other name is R. Will those who make decisions choose what God has chosen? Will Kenya choose what God sees as the best for them? Or they will choose to be in the permissive will? Let us stand up and pray for these two nations. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, living spirit, that you are a good God, that you are a gracious God. Zombrende Katsuna, Kestemi Nostro Komor, Zametruskendo Kirimasana, Atumusita Kibo Soto Mokoshima. Mambia Ruto Zipnaswas, Ruto Zipnaswas, Bibu in a Pata on a B, Bibu in a Pata on a B, Bibu in a Pata on a B. that God is using him as one of the people that God is banking on at this time. The church must pray for him. If the spirit of God is in you, you shall concur with me that majority of the other politicians that we have in this nation have been raised up by witch doctors, have been raised up by uh, other altars, altars of... Yeah. ...should welcome, accept and receive Ruto in the presidential position because because there are so many things that are hiding and hindering him and make heart of God has chosen him The heaven is behind that man. And the, 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 the men and gender for God to choose him. It is because of healing 